So I initially wanted to wait till the end of this video to look at development, but because of everything that's going on in the world, it's too exciting, I, I want to check right now. And this is what I was most curious with. Who is going to be number one between Germany and the USA? And Germany's only a few, maybe like, what is that? I don't know how to math. Math is hard for Cracklord, but I'm going to guess like 400. That's pretty much 200. Two, yeah, 600. Duh, Drew. Duh. Okay, 600 development behind. If Germany continues to expand into Western Russia, they will very quickly, the Americans will very quickly be caught. It's hard to say if this is going to be the end for Russia because, you know, Russia is one of those one of those countries that will always find a way to come back. But without any alliances, I mean, this one's going to be a really tough one to do. I don't know. I don't see how the AI can can maybe come back from this when they don't have any friends. Nothing. Nothing as of now. That's tough. That's very tough. Even uh, China hates them. India's not really doing much. And, uh, you know, without the consolidation of Southeast Asia, I don't see where Russia's going to, to find some friends. I mean, maybe Kazakhstan. But Turkey has collapsed under Greece as Greece continues to expand. I, I find this so funny that I'm, like, using this small corner of the screen to show you everything that's happening because I wanted to keep the development window up. Okay, Canada at number three. That's uh, another thing that we should say. I, I, I don't know how these two are still friends, the USA and Canada, but they are. China at four, making a slow comeback. And Italy, surprisingly, kind of out of nowhere, Italy is number five. Italy's in fifth place. I figured Greece would actually be fifth place. Spain has definitely dropped. Obviously, Russia has significantly dropped. Poland, India. And I think the theme of the next several episodes will be the collapse of the EU. I think it just has to happen. In the, in the previous present day, I know that they for sure collapsed. I just wasn't paying attention to it as much. Um, now, we are paying attention to it, and we'll, we'll be able to see what, what is the exact uh, event, chain of events that take place which, you know, causes that whole continent just to break out. Japan not doing too bad. France pretty low, very low on this list. Anyways, okay, let's just do a real quick overview of it too. Right now we just have Spain out of it, and Spain lost a pretty bad war, and Slovakia, I should say. And the prediction that I think a lot of people have is that Germany will eventually leave since they're continuing to do their own expansion inside of Russian territory. That's, that's a tough one, though, because... Well, Germany has Germany is friends with Spain at the moment, so maybe we see Germany and Spain take on the EU. That would still be really hard for them to do. I'd say Germany wait for a third Russian war, take a bunch more provinces away, and then, you know, rebuild and then try it. Then leave the EU, ally to Spain. It's I think it's it's a possibility. I think it's a possibility that we could end up seeing happen now we only have about like two or three wars oh, no we've got like five wars going on um the only big one though that's taking place is oh south korea versus north korea it happened <gasps> which means that china has revoked their guarantee finally the korean peninsula breaks out into war so china had to revoke or i don't know why they they did but china revoked their guarantee over north korea south korea is still guaranteed by the usa and uh very easily yeah, that's weird, because is Japan not doing much here, or what? This looks like it should be a, a big win for South Korea at the moment. I don't know where the Japanese regiments are. Obviously, Japan has a pretty strong navy. You don't want to mess with the Japanese navy. Well, we'll see what happens with time. I think it's safe to say North Korea could be completely demolished here. It is about time something happens in the Korean Peninsula. Afghanistan versus who? Turkmenistan, okay. And Iran, okay, so that's a little bit bigger than I initially thought. Let's check in on South America really quick, though. South America, is this war over? This war is over. Germany did not make a difference for Brazil. Brazil continues to lose ground against Peru. Doesn't matter if you have, you know, the German strength behind you oh my gosh yeah this is how much the europeans just hate what's happening in south america they love they love brazil and i don't understand why but brazil is loved by the eu i'm, I'm assuming that has probably something to do with trade that just seems natural but i can't really find the argument why that would have anything to do with trade definitely not the ivory coast matters a lot though 
We should be checking in on trade. It's been such a long time since we checked on trade. I'll check on a, a few brief places. Um, looks like the English Channel's about number one. Actually, I bet you it's not even close. No, Genoa's pretty high up there, too. I bet you it's somebody, it's something out of Eastern Asia, I'm assuming. Uh, no, not really. North America, then? East coast of North America? Pro probably, I'm assuming. Chesapeake. Yep, Chesapeake Bay. Making tons of money. So is the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Hmm. Not sure if they're, they're number one, but they're pretty high on that list. Okay, so what was the wars? What's going on? What's going on again? Yeah, look at Africa. Africa's looking very consolidated. That's cool. This is the one that I wanted to look at. So Afghanistan and Iran were briefly at war, but uh, not for very long. And Afghanistan won over Turkmenistan, it looks like. Turkmenistan's still alive, but they ended up losing a province or two. Yeah, so they ended up losing. India is hated by China, Afghanistan, and Indonesia now. India is in a tough spot. South Korea still has not found some sort of peace. Laos versus Thailand. Laos is at 14 war score. We've got Belgium versus Argentina now. Another punitive war. They, The Europeans will not stop. They are clearly really upset about what's happening. The Olympic Games are not going as well. Maybe EU is a big supporter of uh, the Rio Olympics. They like that Brazil's doing it. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Drew, I, I know that that is a random thing to say. Why would the EU want the Olympics to be in Brazil? <laughs> I don't know. Brazil wants the Olympics to be in Brazil. That's, that's I think, is that, isn't that the only thing? It's only the Brazilian government, I mean. Not the people itself, not the Brazilians themselves, but the Brazilian government wants the Olympics to be in Brazil. I thought that was like the only people. Germany no longer allied to Spain. Again, I don't know how Germany is getting away with not being hated by everybody. Just Russia. I'm guessing because all their neighbors like them, that's probably making a pretty big difference. How is Honduras still alive? USA, tell me. You tell me. Who else is U.S. guaranteeing? Israel, South Korea, and Taiwan. Have they always been guaranteeing Taiwan? I don't think I checked on that. They probably have. Honduras is guaranteeing the independence of Belize. Interesting, Honduras. How? So, yeah, why hasn't Peru attacked Honduras either? I'm guessing Peru and Argentina want to focus on getting the Brazilians out of this game. Zambia versus Mal, Mal, Malawi. So, we should see South Africa continue to expand a little bit here. Swaziland still involved. That's kind of cool. Small Swaziland. Still handling it. There it is. USA versus Belize versus Bahamas versus... There's the Honduras War and everybody in the Caribbean pretty much. Wow, we just checked on them too. That's weird. I just started asking questions. So, Honduras might be the one that loses the most here. But I still don't think the US will border Peru yet. I think Peru will be the one that actually kills Honduras, but I think that Honduras will be left with like four or five provinces if they're lucky. Maybe two if they're unlucky. Uh, and it also depends on the cast spell I used. It's a nationalist war. Uh, we'll see. That's a tough one. That's tough. Now, the USA is technically only allied to Canada, and they only hate Russia. Oh, they actually don't even hate Russia that much anymore. The USA now just hates Central America. So will the will the Americans and the EU kind of, I don't know, a combined mutual agreement that they don't like the Brazils losing in South America? I, I imagine the USA is going to rival the, Peru, the Peruvians. And because all of the EU hates the Peruvians, um, there probably will be maybe a makeshift alliance. Seems that way. Yeah, Honduras is still fine. I think Peru will be... Oh, oh, never mind. I was zoomed out enough where I thought they had already pieced out. Not yet. Oh, let's go check on the Korean Peninsula. And boom! There it is. Apparently South Korea is best Korea. The meme has finally been answered. 
according to EU, EU4. Uh, North Korea still exists, though. Kim Jong uh, Un is uh, is he is here, just chilling, chilling in his favorite province. Now his favorite province. That's awesome that just Korea has formed. And boom, look at that. There you go. Russia found themselves an ally. Actually, they were they were allied to South Korea before, right? Oh, Russia's now allied to Af Afghanistan and Syria. Ooh, Syria. There's some uh, irony. No, not irony. Um, coincidence. That's a coincidence, I think. I think that's a coincidence. Another punitive war. This time Ireland decided to declare it. Indonesia gaining kind of small territory back. Oh, man, I just talked about how it was cool that Swaziland was still around, and South Africa's going to destroy them. Looks like South Africa will do the, the damaging blow. Oh, yeah, Honduras is totally fine. Could have been way worse. Holy crap, is that, is that all the Europeans? Oh, no, these are just from the islands because they're all, like, separate little... Little islands. No one's taking those islands over just yet. 2000. It is the year 2138, I should say. Year 2138. Oh, France. Oh, that's right. They're in the punitive war, too. Duh, Drew. Holy crap. Yeah, they're fighting so much. Oh, so there was a, two, uh, there was a second one. I see. The Dutch were the ones that declared it. How's Spain doing? Spain, you're only allied to Venezuela and Ethiopia at the moment. Yeah, that kind of that kind of hurts you a little bit. Obviously, you were doing a lot better before. But Peru's going to take it to, to kind of the eastern Latin American countries. Just kind of always trying to check. Let's check on Germany's uh, plan for expansion. Yep, they want the land that I figured they would. Germany's probably not going to stop. And I feel like the only thing that will really... I don't think we can count Russia out of this campaign until they lose another big war. They lose another big war to China or to Germany or to both. And now and then I think it's safe to say that Russia won't, won't be coming back. I, but, you know, Russia allying to Afghanistan was big news. Afghanistan looks good. And Afghanistan has some alliances, man. It's the Saudis, China, Kazakhstan, and Russia all love what Afghanistan's doing. Middle, the Middle East has really changed a lot. Where I, I thought for a while there, it was the Saudis that really controlled the region. Definitely not. That's not the case anymore. First of all, Iran's still powerful. And, and keep in mind, you know, Iran with those mountains are really defensive. They're going to be really good at grinding away at. Saudi territory, but now Afghanistan kind of the same way. They've got a lot of mountains in their, under their control at the same time. USA at war with Mexico, Cuba, and Honduras once again, so they're going to be expanding. They'll be expanding their borders as well. I think Honduras will still exist. Keep that buffer. Yep, there it is. They're going to keep that buffer zone. I don't think Cuba will lose anything. I don't see any American ships off the coast of Cuba just yet. I mean, besides in Puerto Rico, but they're not going to do anything with five stack. Oh, they they landed. Boom. It doesn't matter. All right. So very aggressive U.S. Just as Germany started to catch them, uh, the U.S. says, nope, it's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. That is exactly what they said, probably. That's probably what they said. But uh, but anyways, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna stop it a little bit early here, and uh, we'll pick it up in the next one. See what happens. Obviously, several wars still taking place, and now with the Americans starting to mobilize their military again, uh, things should get really exciting in the new world. So there's a lot of possibilities left on the table. Who knows what alliances will form, what wars will continue onward. The German-Russian war, I think, is on everyone's mind as being kind of the big. Uh, big one that could be the end of Russia, but we'll see what happens in the next one. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.